us Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big-time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for a much-anticipated main event. 12 rounds, featherweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. He's almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him. Kid comebacks ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch he needed like flowers need rain. Work the body. Go, go, go. Come on. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Blocks the headshot. A well-placed left hand up top. Good defensive skill. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Nice block by the comeback kid. Comeback kids coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Oh, and a big right hand lands. You got him! 
Can you believe that? If there were 30 more seconds in that round, I don't know that he survives. But now, he gets the benefit of the 60-second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. Listen, you need to mix so a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Comeback Kids Corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with, because if he does, I think it's over. Block that time. It was intended to the head. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. hit the elusive target with that straight right. Good way to protect the midsection. Back to the body. Halfway through round number two. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Let's go. Go get it. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. You see him holding on. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Blocks away that headshot. <laughs> Missed the target with that hook. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his misses. Don't look for just big punches, okay? Use your speed. Double up. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. Comeback Kids bounces back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. And he just holds on there. That's it, just like that. Keep moving. Hand moving. Hand moving. That right hand over the top lands flush.
off target with that hook. Able to place the right hand in there. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. through this round here. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Comeback Kid. And he engages in the clinch. Comeback Kid's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Unable to make an impact there by the comeback kid. Come on, kids, well played, straight right hand. Unable to score. A well-placed left hand by Comeback Kid. Wow! He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. I need you to move this round, all right? Move. Muevate. He's going to come in swinging. Right. Oh, he thinks you're still hurt. And he's going to look to finish you off. You don't need that. No, throw that away. Start of round number four, but an interesting fight so far. Comeback kids losing this fight one round to two, but keep in mind, the one round that he won, he scored a knockdown. Yeah, well, in golf, they say you have to have a short memory. In boxing, sometimes a long memory. He must remember, he can hurt him. He can get back in this. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? Good power punch, the right hand landed. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. Halfway through round number four. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Go. 
Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing, not engaging in the fight. Great round now, back and forth. After he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, big, big shot comes crashing home. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. down but able to get up to his feet teddy what should he be thinking about now well right now just surviving but if he survives then he better figure out why he was put on the floor that's a solid right hand by comeback kid and just grabbing on to his opponent good return fire that time he just missed that shot up top fourth round now with his last 10 seconds How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going. Now listen. Comeback Kids corner now with a big task at hand. They've got to make sure that their fighter has his senses Gosh, back after being knocked down. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here every which You're way. Blocking punches, this. moving well, parrying punches away. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. And he ties up on the inside. Flush left hand. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep this offense going and end his night. Comeback kid has been stunned. He was stunned, now he's in control. Momentum so critical. And that's the thing about this boxing game. One second you're in control, the next second you're not. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't, great movement. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything to do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm, he's very in control. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Focus. Kid comebacks making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. You 
can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. The body. Bang the body. Hit that body. All the eyes are on him to start this round. Comeback kids, legs, look solid right hand lands. Good defense just covering up down low. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Move your head. Now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Comeback kids movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Another clinch. Finish with a hook. He's tired. He's tired. Just still keep working the champ. Halfway through round six. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. You're not focusing. Come back, kids, hurt by a superb hook to the head. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Kid comebacks using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. And that's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. He has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spot. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. And he's holding. Nice. Oh, no. Do that again. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Not able to land the headshot. So he takes a breather between Listen, rounds after he just put forth more of the side, same punishment. Right? Teddy, we've been sitting here move. all night long as he lands these thudding Double blows. Jab, right? You can just hear the damage landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want are coming onto my shirt. This is yours. You hear me? Escuches. This is your fight. You go. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. You know, remember, remember the guy wanted to collect Absolutely. his bets? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Very nice defensive guard there.
not getting it done with that straight right hand. Excellent hook to the head by Comeback Kid. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. Halfway through the seventh round. See, he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Comeback Kid. the floor. Kid comeback here. showing some real guts here. Hey, this fight was not going his way at all, but somehow he has gathered momentum. Yeah, he behaved like a fighter. He got through the tough times, and now guess what? Good times in front of him. And this round comes to an end. You're good. You're okay. Three, four. Now listen, you threw a wide punch, and it caught you. Tight. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than it has to be. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. Many times the scorecard doesn't reflect what's actually happening in the fight. Now here, no doubt that one guy's in control. However, this fight is hardly over. No, oh, it is. It, you're right. With other sports, you know, there's no such thing as a 10-point touchdown when you need one. There's no such thing as a five-run home run. But in boxing, there is. One punch, you get those eight points, you get those 10 points, you get the win. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Hey, hey, let's go! Continue on, beating the count. Hit comebacks proving to be elusive. Oh, <laughs> 
He's showing very good footwork. And a big right hand by Comeback Kid. Now here's an opportunity where he can take advantage as he backs him into the corner. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. And round eight comes to an end. You sit ringside long enough and you get a sense at what the scorecards are gonna look like. I mean, sometimes they throw you off a little bit. But we know who should be ahead on the scorecards in this fight. Yeah, and he does too, and his opponent does too, and you see it in his body language. He's starting to get a little discouraged a little bit. And of course, you see also that the guy winning right now, he's starting to behave like a guy that's winning. He's staying outside a little more, using those feet a little bit more, almost going into that kind of prevent defense you see in football. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Tonight. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. There's a straight right hand. Missed the body shot. Well, he ties up there. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. You're not focusing. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. <laughs> Comeback kids looking like a guy who's not going to survive this right now. How can he survive the test? Well, right now, he has to grab. He can't use his legs. You know, the easiest thing in the world is to say, hey, get on your bike. What a big shot. That was a big shot that poured him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Work the body, kid. Body shot. <laughs> Stunned and he is hurt. There it is. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five. The ref stops the fight. Come back, kids. Night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or 
do that. Stick your chin out, bang. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.